Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. And today, how I got scammed. All right, so uh, recently I got scammed. Uh, essentially, uh, it's not the first time and it probably won't be the last time when it comes to comic books, these things happen. Um, so let me give you the rundown of the story of what happened and, uh, what you can do, uh, what you should do is have to try to minimize your exposure. Uh, it happens. Uh, this is going to be, if you're looking for a lot of graphics and stuff, this is going to be a pretty boring video because unfortunately the person took down the entire account and stuff before I could get screenshots. So there's really nothing to share and show. It's just going to be me talking at you. Uh, so the other day I'm scrolling through the Instagram as we often do. And, um, you know, there's a seller that's popping up there. He's doing a claim sale. He's posting a whole bunch of books and it caught my attention. Now I don't, I typically only buy from a couple different vendors that I know and I've done business with on a consistent and regular basis. They're trusted to me. Uh, and so I have faith in paying them, uh, money, whether I choose to pay them directly vis-a-vis -vis Zelle or, uh, you know, friends and family sometimes or whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, they don't, Actually, most of them don't do friends and family, but sometimes I'll pay them Zelle. I don't get the protection and stuff. Sometimes I get a little bit of discount for doing so, but I've had a relationship with these individuals back and forth repeatedly. This person I'm scrolling, hadn't had any experience with them whatsoever. Their subscriber count, the people who follow or follower account was below a thousand, not, but it was really close to a thousand. Um, which is a little bit low, but you know, I'm looking at it and what jumped out at me were a couple of the books. Now, none of them were like, it wasn't like they were selling amazing Spider-Man 129 for $10 or something, but it was just, they did have some silver age books and they were starting them at like 10 bucks. I think there was one that was like 20 bucks. It was like, you know, Submariner eight or nine or something. And, you know, Submariner 18. So there was like some of these, like nothing, nothing like major, but you know, 10 bucks. And I'm assuming there was no description of the quality, but my assumption was, is that at $10 a piece, these are probably lower grade to maybe mid grade books, right? You can only see so much in the Instagram picture when they show you four different books in one little picture, you know, pinch zoom only works so well, but you know, I'm always looking for deals for the giveaway bin. And that instantly jumped out at me going like, Hey, there, like there was the Submariner versus, um, Hulk, I think it was, or thing, Submariner versus thing cover, whatever. And I'm like, that'd be a great book for the giveaway bin. It would drive Chris crazy when I pulled that out. Uh, and at a, at a mid grade book, somebody would be happy with it. And I'm happy to spend 10 bucks on it. So I claimed, so I, so I was looking through stuff. I see a couple like that and I see some $3 books and stuff. And so I go, okay, you know what? Let me go ahead and try this guy out. I hit claim on a few things. My total comes to like before shipping or, or with after shipping costs that he requested, it was $60. And I said, okay, that's it. I'm not, I don't know this person. I'm going to, I'm going to first step I want to do. I'm going to limit how much. I'm willing to put out there. So I put out 60 bucks, pretty short order. He pings me and wants to go ahead and say, Hey, okay, thanks for your claims. Your total is $60. Boom. He's wanting to settle up like almost instantly. And that's a little bit odd. Uh, I was a little bit of a f flag, uh, simply because most of these guys, they do, you know, they let it sit for a little bit before they ping you at the end of the day or the next day, because they want to see if you're going to claim anything else. But I figured out oh, he didn't have that much stuff posted up there. He only had me like 20 books posted. Um, you know, maybe that's all he plans on doing and he figures I'm done. Okay, whatever. Um, so he gives me, he says, you know, just pay me. And he gives me his account. Uh, account name, the same as his IG account name. He says, it's just this name on PayPal. So he's not giving me an email address or anything. I go to PayPal. Sure enough, I find it readily. 
And uh, I'm like, okay. But right before before I pay him, I get a message, or I no actually, actually I just paid him. I paid him. Uh, I used pay. I did use PayPal goods and services. Now, this is important. I mean, the guy didn't say whether he wanted friends and family or not. I wouldn't have used friends and family with him. I don't know him. Um, when you're buying something with friends and family versus goods and services, goods and services offers you a certain layer of protection. Even if somebody that is going to tell me, oh, you're going to pay an extra 5%, I would pay the extra 5%, especially at the beginning of a new relationship that I have no experience with them to protect me. Now, no sooner than I, than I pay practically, um, I, I think it's like right after I paid, Journos Comics reaches out to me and he says, hey, I see that you claimed some books with this guy. Have you ever done business with him before? And I was, oh, no, I haven't. You know, it just looks like some cool books. And so Journos and Comics and I are going back for Chris from Journos. Uh, we're sitting there going back and forth a little bit. And he's telling me that um, there was something that he thinks he says scammer. And it's because he thinks he recognizes the name of the of the IG account as a, a name that's been used as a scammer before. Um, and then he starts telling me that the guy is like offering him all the Silver Age books for like $90. And I'm like, well, I just claimed some of them. So it's like this guy is trying to resell these books that I've already paid for. Um, so it was a bit of a thing. And so Chris was like, hey, you know, um, dude, well, good luck. Let me know if it works out because I think that he's scamming you. And I was like, okay, well. If it happens, it happens. I mean, it won't be the first time and it won't be the last time. I mean, that's part of this type of, uh, you know, hobby stuff. If you're not doing face-to-face in-person interactions, things happen. I said, you know, hey, I used I used goods and services. So if worse comes to worse, I'll reach out to PayPal. So the guy had, so now the seller, he promptly responds after I, I sent payment. I didn't even sent him a screenshot. I just sent payment and like very short order. I got, I got your payment. Thank you so much. Send me your address. I'll set, ship out the books. Well, cool. I'm happy. Next day. I hadn't heard from him. No tracking number or nothing. Oh, okay, cool. Another day, nothing. Three days. I hadn't heard anything. And then that's what I noticed. Now the, Pro, I'll go to the, I had pinned the profile uh, messages in my Instagram because I didn't want it to get lost because I didn't know this guy. And I noticed at that point when I went to see, view the profile, now all the images had been taken down from the account and the profile image had been taken down uh, and wasn't listed. So it was like, well, basically pulled down the entire Instagram account, shut it down. And I'm like, oh, that's not good. So I started pinging him uh, because I still had, because I had pinned it, I could still ping him on Instagram. So I'm sending him messages. Hey, you know, trying to find out, yeah, the, did you get a chance to ship those books out? No response. Hey, you know, somebody's warning me that you might be a scammer. Please respond. Let me know. Nothing. So I go into PayPal. This is my first step in trying to do something else. I went to PayPal, went to the transaction where I could view the information of the, cell, of the person I paid and got an email address from that and sent an email. Nothing. Did it one more time. You know, nothing. So now after like four or five days, uh, now I went ahead and said, okay, this is a, this is obviously a done deal. I'm not, you know, the profile is completely gone from fate, from Instagram, nothing else. I'm done. I send a mess. I, I go into PayPal. I file a claim saying that, Hey, these books were supposed to be shipped, weren't shipped. Profiles gone off Instagram. I've sent messages, multiple email messages to the email address linked to the PayPal account. Nothing, no response, nothing. PayPal within 30 minutes, sent me a message saying, no problem. Your money is being refunded. And then I got my money back. So the end of the day, there's a st moral here that everyone should pay attention to. First of all, if you're going to buy and sell, 
whether it's on a trusted platform like eBay or via Instagram messaging or whatever kind of sales. If you don't know the person, don't pay them with a method of payment that you have no buyer protection. If you were to send, if I was to send that via Zelle, or if I was to use friends and family, then I would have been stuck out, out the money. Now, $60, depending upon you and your individual situation, may or may not be much. Uh, but, you know, keep that in mind. You want to be able to protect yourself. So, well, I had an experience and I go, oh, yep, there were a couple red flags um, on this one. I took the necessary precautions for me. It ended up being looking like it was a scam. I got scammed, but because I followed the best practices and I used the PayPal goods and services, I was, and I made efforts to contact the person through multiple methods and was able to provide that information. PayPal took care of refunding my money and I'm not out any money. So there you go, guys. There's lots of stuff out there to collect, and I don't mean to scare anybody off of collecting online. There's lots of great values, a lot of great trusted Instagram sellers out there. If you're ever curious about an Instagram seller, reach out. You're not you're not familiar with them. Look at their history. Uh, you know, this is you know if that's the only sale that's ever been listed, there's no other posts and stuff. That's a red flag. Look at their user count. You know, if they're a seller account, you know, a regular supposed to be a, supposedly a big time seller account. They probably got more than a thousand people, but see if there's somebody you can you is there anybody that follows them that you know because you know you look you can see it'll usually tell you some people that follows them that you know you can reach out to them get reference if you don't do any of that whatever you do least and foremost make sure you use a payment method that's going to protect you so that you have some recourse and keep on collecting guys that's all I got until next time collect what you want don't listen to anybody including me, unless it's about payment protection, then definitely listen to me. I was a fat man with a fat stack of comics. Not this time, though. And a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.